Hi guys, it's Promis Sebastian here again with another awesome Blender tutorial. So guys, this is a Mixamo animation I combined now to get this work animation. And then after he works, he gets here and then turns around. Let me hide this whole stuff and add a new, that's two Mixamo animations. So you see the problem you get whenever you have a Mixamo animation. So I've selected all of them now. Edge to hide, let's import another new Mixamo animation. Let's go to import now. And then FBS, that is what it comes as. Okay, so... Let me get the right one and then start working import now. So you can see that they are not at the same origins. So if you are to play the animation, this guy starts working on his own and then this one is turning on this different origin. So even if you try to copy this guy animation and paste on this guy, it's not going to start on the same origin. So I'm going to teach you guys how to fix that and also how to upload your character on Mixamo and then have it animated. Okay, so without further ado, guys, let's get started. I'm going to control Z on this now. So first, our character, I have it on my file manager now. So I'll just set over to Mixamo now. So this is the Mixamo site, Mixamo.com, okay? So let's upload our character. Now you can see where the root upload character. So I'll select character from file now. And then my character needs to be in FBX. So that is the character here, young boy. So let me just select on him and then open so he can upload now. Even if your character is not in FBX, you can upload it on Blender and then resave it as FBS. So you can see the character is ready now. And then the rig is working. So I'll just click on Nest now. Okay, so any animation we choose from these animations now is going to be applied here. So let's take the start working animation here. I just clicked on it now. You can see it will apply here now. It will start working now you see so that is it on how to upload your character in museum and then choose an animation make sure your character is fb is in fbs or obj format i think fbs is the best so now let's download our character i think all these are okay so you can adjust all these options but these are okay for me let me just download this right away so click on download now and then it's FBS, the frame we're okay with it with scale, keyframe rotation. We don't need to change anything here. So we just have to download this now. Okay, it has downloaded it and then it downloaded it in FBS as well for me. So I have the file already. So we are done with Mizamo here now. So let me exit the Mizamo site. So back to Blender now. So now we are going to import our start working FBS file we just downloaded. So let's go over to import, import now FBX. And then I can head over to my download folder, wherever your own is, and then import as much as you've downloaded. Yeah, start working. I think it should be this guy. And then import now. So look at it, the boy now. If you play the animation, it's as same as the one we have on the Mixamo site, okay? So now import another FVX animation. Let's just get something like turning, like the one we did before. So head over to file again. File import then fbs again and then let's let's just get this right tone now left click and then import so you can see now if we play this animation they are not both starting at the same origin you see this one works from there to here and then this one turns from there so you see so if you want to join this animation now what you do is you check where this one stopped and where this one starts okay so i think this one stops here so I'll just select on this one now, this amateur now, and then head over to pose mode now. Click A to select all the bones now, and then shift from this timeline now to the dope sheet, or you move over to the animation workspace. So any of them will do. So me, I can be on any workspace and do whatever it is I want to do. So with the bone selected now, A to select all the keyframes you have here, G to drag them to where this one stopped. Where this other animation stopped, you drag it there. Okay, so now I think I have this guy there already. So now I'll have to copy this animation I have here to this guy now. So, but then they are also not going to start it in the same origin, but don't worry about that. Okay, so as A, I've selected all the keyframes, Control C now to copy all the keyframes. So I'll now head over to this one now. I'm still in pose mode now, so I'll exit pose mode, object mode, select this bone, go back to pose mode, control tab. That's the shortcut for pose mode. Okay, so now I'm going to paste these keyframes and I copied from this one. Control V to paste all these keyframes I copied from this one. So you can see if we play this animation now, 
it's going to do the working it did for this guy. And when he gets here, he's going to go back to the origin of this one. So for this not to happen now, let's first hide this guy. or probably delete. Let me just hide him. Choose this guy. This guy. And then. So hide. Okay, I think the eyes is not being hid already. So everything is gone now. So we have just this character now. So if we play, still doing the same crazy stuff. So to make sure that this guy starts at same origin, the trick there is manipulating the Z axis because that's the Z axis is the location Z axis. That's where this problem starts. Okay, so I'll select the bones now and then control tab to move her to post mode. I think there are other ways you could do this, but I think this one works for me and I use it a lot. Okay, so now let's move over to the graph editor. So I'm going to select the graph editor here and then if you check if i zoom in on this graphic detail now so you can see that all the other graphs are in line but one is actually a little bit up you can see this graph so this shows that something is really wrong graphs for animation to look smooth the graphs must have a very smooth curve it shouldn't be like this what we are seeing here so we are first of all going to hide all this now and then head over to the heap and then we'll hide some a to select all the whole graph lines I have here, and then hedge to hide them all. So now head over to hips now. And then we are going to uncheck this X location zip. That's for the hip or the spine. It could be the spine. That's the bone that controls the whole bones. That's what you should be careful of. Not the bone. Your own should be the spine, depending on how you named yours. It should be the bone that controls all the whole bones. That's the one. Okay, so for me here is hips. So check the Z axis, which is the Z location axis now. So now I'm going to now adjust this now. So what we have to do is grab all these keyframes here and then drag it up to meet with this one. We can use the Y to constrain it on the Y axis. So it's going to be in the same line with this one. You can see if I play this now, drag it now, you can see it's going to start on the same Z axis. That's the rotation. It's a very, very easy technique. So with this technique, you can add multiple animations, come over to the hip, the Z axis. You're also going to see that deflection or that um, change. So you drag it and make sure they, are, they have a smooth curve or they're in line and drag it up. So to meet others, so you can see animation now is looking better now and smooth now. So that's how to use a lot of mix of animation. There's literally um, a lot you can find here, a lot of animations. Okay, you can even use their own as well, and it's totally free. So, thanks for watching this awesome tutorial. Okay, so if you think there is another way we can do this, let me know on the comment section. See you guys on my next tutorial.